this video, I want to show you how to create a new database from the IC software. So what we will do is we will download a route to the data collector, which is a VPOD Pro, return it back to the IC software, and then perform other things. So to begin, we select the VPOD Pro by clicking the checkbox. Next, place Browse for a folder. And in this case, we have it in IC, and then we'll go to Make a New Folder. And we will label this for Video Demo. Click OK. And then check OK again. At this point, if you look in the upper left-hand corner, we have a database called for Video Demo. And now we're going to add a train node. So we'll call this pump section. Press load and we'll select a picture that we have on file. And in this case, we have this graphic uh, called pump 02, but it shows motor outside, motor inside, pump inside, pump outside, as far as the various points where you can place your accelerometer for measurement, horizontal, axial, and vertical. And you notice that in some cases it's only uh, axial and horizontal. So that's the different directions that we can measure with this. Click Add. And notice that the pump section, Machine 0, is now created. At this time, we can create some more things. by adding a child node, which goes underneath the pump section. And we'll call this P001. And it's important to put the speed in the RPM window, because this is where the calculation is for the 1x, 2x, and so forth. We can add a description, description 2, description 3, and have drop downs. So to continue, we want to add a point node. And again, this would be underneath this section. So currently it's called point one. And we'll change that to motor out. And we'll measure the vertical and the horizontal. And in this case, we will measure the overall velocity. Usually velocity is recommended However, in certain cases for low speed machines, you can select overall displacement. And that would be reserved for higher frequency measurements. Uh, you don't have to select these functions such as crest factor bearing because the purpose of this video is to make a simplified test for setting up. So with velocity, well, we will measure in millimeters per second, RMS, root mean square, and of course the temperature will be in C. We can also add an alarm to this uh, for overall velocity. So for example, if you pick ISO uh, standard 10816-3, group one and three rigid, you just click that and select it. Now we'll look at overall bearings. Again, we can go back to this alarm and choose the RPM that we will be measuring in. And in this case, we will pick a range of 850 to 4,500 RPM. Temperature, currently we don't have any alarm, but we could edit and add a new one if we wanted to. Just by clicking the edit button, click new, create a name for the temperature attribute, so we'll call temp 40 to 60, and then change the values here. Put 60 at the top and 40 on the bottom. Click Save, and now we press Select. So that would be our temperature alarm that we would have on here as well. And that would all be for 
motor-out. So we'll click add. And if you look, it will automatically create all of these values, uh, overall velocity, overall point, and so forth. And so what we can do is easily copy the point to another point. So instead of it being motor out, now we'll call it motor in. And it automatically copied the information from motor out to motor in. So now if we look at the point property, we can see that motor in, we can change this from uh, values that were from motor out to motor in. Very simple to do. Likewise, you can also copy and click paste and create your new point in your route as well, or in your database in this case. So now we'll call this one pump in. You can also rearrange this data So just click and drag and move it around and it will provide you with that information uh, for that. So at this point we are looking to change the machine name so we will change it from P001 to P002 and press OK. So if you look at how easy it is to manipulate and move the points in the database we now have four points on P001, and we also have four points identically on P002. So you can consider that to be machine one or machine two under the pump, pump section. And this makes it very simple. Now we're going to look at how to copy to route. You just right click, copy to route, and it will say a total of eight points. It says, are you sure you want to copy all of the points of node pump section? And the answer is yes. And so we want to uh, do this. So we'll change the route name to video demo. Press OK. And it created a route. So as we look at the route, we can select the video demo, which has the two points. and we upload to or download it to the vpod pro and in this case uh, we have that already connected so we just select the route that we want to download click the checkbox video demo and press download now that we have downloaded the route to the vpod pro we will demonstrate with this rotor kit, how to take a measurement, look at the data, and then review. Now press the mode button and then switch to the route mode. Notice in the route mode that we have two routes. One is called boiler and the other one is called video demo which was downloaded earlier to this VPOD Pro. Select video demo and once selected you will notice that we have two points, pump section P001 and pump section P002. Next, I will turn on the rotor kit and then I will select the first point, motor out dash H, horizontal, and then press, press the measure on the VPOD Pro. At this time, the VPOD Pro will measure and acquire the data. Next, press the OK button to save the data or press measure again to retake the measurement. Next, we will look at the, uh, by moving the accelerometer to the second point, motor out dash V, and then press the measure once again. Once completed, we will press the OK button to save the file or save the data. If you notice, in this demonstration, we have installed a bad bearing to show how the measurements can be seen more clearly. 
As you can see, the bearing's true peak value is very high and is over the alarm levels. Now if we go back to the point to look at the Arcave data, you can select the point that you wish to look at by pressing the OK on the VPOD Pro and it will display the measured and saved values. Press OK again and now we can view the spectrum of the data points selected and once again press OK which will bring us back to the route mode. Now that we have finished the data collection with the VPOD Pro using a rotor kit, we will return to the IC software and then select Upload from Device. Notice that I have already have my VPOD Pro connected. I will now select a route to upload. In this case it is called Video Demo. Once uploaded, the user will see the archived data in the database. After the data analysis and viewing, we can go to the report section to generate a report. You can select from last measurement, last 12 measurement, or history measurement. So the first thing that we need to do is select the node that we want to include in the report and then select last measurement for this example and then click next next again one more time next and now we can put in some uh, overall values for example what we want to do is show the 1x in the bandwidth of plus or minus 5% and then also the second order or the second x at 5%. So in this case we'll put harmonic 1, 5%, and then harmonic 2, and again 5%, and then click Next when we're done. Notice that we can also add three more uh, overall band calculations in this report. Click Next. This report will allow you to actually add the time waveform power spectrum, group 1, group 2, sepstrum, and demodulate spectrum. But in this case we will just skip this to make it go faster. As the report is being generated, please note that this is going to be generated in a Microsoft Word format. In Microsoft Word is where you can review and edit this report. Here is the results of the last measurement report. In this report, we show the alarm status with the background colors. Another example located in the report menu is the last 12 measurement report. Here we show you also the historical data with the alarm status and also you can include the trend chart underneath each data table. As we look at the reports, you can see that it is very easy to generate a report in IC. Thank you very much for watching this video.